Sunday motivation. Welcome back. I should call it Monday malarkey or Monday madness or something else, but that's what we got. So I haven't been on for a week. Um, I had a surgery and stuff. Some health stuff going on that I'm uh, trying to work through. And, uh, you know, that kind of took me away from the channel and stuff. But um, I did see that the uh, video I shared to IG has gotten a ton of views. But that only counts on IG or something. I don't know how it works. But the Instagram uh, following has grown tremendously. Um, and the YouTube following is growing pretty pretty good. I mean, people are tuning in and they want to hear what I have to say and you know, a lot of it is really positive. You know, got like 3,000 views on those first two videos I put out and that's that's <laughs> it's hard to really put it into words but it's amazing. Especially knowing that people got that information and they're using it, you know, or they just got it and, you know, they were able to get some clarity, you know, whatever the case, that's, it's amazing, and, you know, all strangers to me, you know, so, uh, it's, it's, it's different, it's different, um, but I'm not gonna change anything I'm doing, um, I'm gonna do this the same way, I try to keep this as, as honest and open, as raw as possible, um, I don't really see this being geared anywhere else anytime soon, so, this could be more or less of, you know, me keeping it real all the way 100. But uh, what I want to kind of touch base on today was, um, you know, just a, a few things that kind of went down, you know, in a time frame from the last video to now. Um, it's funny how you have to prove yourself to people in order for them to support you. And what I mean by that is earlier in the week, two weeks ago, whatever the case was, you know, I had like a thousand followers or something on Instagram, which I don't care, whatever. But, uh, you know, I was doing the same stuff every day. Nothing, nothing different. Uploading videos, you know, just doing the same stuff every day. And then over a course of, I don't know, six or seven days, you know, it went from a thousand to three thousand to nine thousand, now it's over eleven thousand. And uh, I had someone message me in and, and say, um, you know, oh man, what do you, what you got going on? I see you got all those followers and stuff. What you got going on? Well, all you had to do was click the link, <laughs> you know, or click the story and it would have told you, or read the, the bio, it would have told you exactly what was going on and what I'm doing now, you know, since, you know, people are always so fucking nosy, you know, <laughs> like, it's, it's right there on the page, I ain't trying to be a dick, but it's right there on the page, man, and... It's like, I saw something today and it was just funny to me. It was like, <laughs> I feel like I touch on this all the time, but like, don't call me, don't contact me with that negative energy. Like, don't, like, don't call my phone with that bullshit. <laughs> like, for real, like, it's nonsense. Don't allow people to call your phone with that bullshit. It's nonsense. People try to push their bad energy off onto you. Or they just they, they just want to be petty. And don't nobody got time for that. You know, I wanted these things to take like a positive turn and stuff because, you know, some of the stuff is like, you know, some of the stuff that I'm hearing, you know, people say, you know, Reese is so brash and it's so like right to the point. Well, it's raw. That's what it's supposed to be. Ain't no script. I'm not sitting around here, 
jotting down ideas and what I'm going to say, what's my topic for the day, and I got a formula and all this stuff. No, this is me keeping it all the way 100. You know, before I got in this video, you know, I picked my daughter up from, from theater practice, you know, and I dropped her off early this morning, you know, so it's like, you know, it's, my, it's a normal day. I'm a normal person. Everybody is. Everybody that you follow, you subscribe to, you watch these videos on, they are normal people. They do the same shit that you do. Well, for the most part. But the only difference is the, the reason why, you know, you're watching this versus, you know, not doing videos if that's something you want to do is, one, it's for the support. Two, it might be something interesting. Three, you might have been bored. I appreciate all of those. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, I think it's, I just think it's crazy how it's like, what do you call it? Rappers call it what? Like sneak dissing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't make any sense to call and congratulate somebody sarcastically. That is the most ridiculous thing, you know, especially to me because, you know, I don't know if you don't know this or not, but I'm, I'm an expert in sarcasm, you know. So, like, it's crazy to me. But nevertheless, take that energy, bottle it up, and make it your fuel. I say that a lot, make it your fuel, because that's what I do. I mean, I use it, I'm able to use this, use this as an outlet to be able to share experiences, really daily experiences and a lot of life stuff. And it's gonna be more stuff to come. You know, I got a video actually gonna be, that I'm gonna be dropping. Um, it's gonna, I don't know, it's, it's already done. It's from a few months back. And if you follow me on Facebook, you already know about the video, but it's, um, it's one of the catalysts, one of the things that prompted this whole thing, you know. Now, when that drops, you know, people are going to, I mean, it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of questions and it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. But if you follow me on Facebook, you're already seeing that video and stuff. But I am, I am going to drop that because I'm, I'm past the point of, you know, being scared to show it to the world when it's actually already out there and stuff. But I am going to upload it and put it on YouTube so everybody can see that. Um, and then you get a better understanding of how this all really came to be, you know, um, and if it's the first video you watch, and thank you, um, definitely go back and watch. You know, start with the first two, you know, and, and go from there. But uh, it's um, it's just it's so frustrating trying to trying to be nice all the time to people, you know, because you don't want to be viewed as being an asshole or being so hard or so rugged or so so tough and all. you don't want to be viewed like that all the time you know you just want to be viewed as a regular person and you know you kind of don't want people to alienate you from things and stuff like that and my wife asked me like you know so so what do you do now i said well nothing changes you know like you got all these followers and all this stuff now i said i'm the same person i was yesterday none of that stuff matters I said it just proves my point that I always knew I had something to say and I always knew that there were certain people out there to listen you know there's 330 billion people <laughs> you know it, look man <laughs> look the 10,000 11,000 people decide to listen to my bullshit then so be it you know I don't expect people to have the same mindset that I have I expect people to kind of understand where I'm coming from in one way or another, but I don't expect people to have the same mindset that I have, and you shouldn't either. You know, everybody's different, and you know that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I follow other people. I watch their videos. I support them and stuff. You know, it's it's like, you know. I got to a point where I was tired of seeing, watching my buddy's video and watch him say, you know, just pick up that camera and do it. Just pick up that camera and do it. Just pick up that camera and do it. And I, and I try to do that, you know? And I, that first video, that hot tub video was rough. <laughs> like, you know, but I got my point across, 
you know, and that, that's but that's all we were doing, you know. I mean, of course, over time, as you know, <laughs> I guess we get as the budget gets bigger and the channel gets larger. I mean, we will, you know, the production will change and things like that. I, I guess I don't know. I'm simple, but uh, this is just. This is this is just this is just real life, man. You know. That like I said, that next video is going to be the one that's going to explain it all and it's going to open up some eyes and I know it's going to do 20 times better than all the videos that are up right now and stuff. So, that's the that's the one that's going to um going to change everything, but I'm forcing myself out of my shell. I'm forcing myself to to be open, to be vulnerable with people. But like I always said in the other videos, also, um, I'm leaving these gems so that, you know, my son can see them, you know, my daughters can see them later and go back and view them and stuff. If I'm not here, I'm not around. And and then understand as adults what I was talking about. Because as kids, they won't really get it, you know. And, and, and that's really what this is, you know. This is just, you know, it, it's kind of a blueprint, you know, for... <laughs> for life for for some for someone you know you know if not if not my son and somebody else's son you know they can take some of these things and and apply them to what they do every day and then you know just just better themselves for it you know i take advice from you know from from things that i see and i, I apply it and i see how those things apply to me and i make it work you know but, you know, Monday motivation is about getting up and setting the tone for your day and for your weekend. That's what I'm trying to do. Just letting you know, hey, we don't need the haters. You know, they need us. You know, if there's no one doing the things that other people are afraid to do, no one would ever hate on anyone. Because everybody be doing the same shit. Everybody be walking around here just sucking at life. You know, so you got... <laughs> You really got, it's really like two classes of people, you know, when it really comes down to it, you know, you got, you know, people that, you know, you got, you got waiters and you got doers, you know what I'm saying? And that's just really what it is, you know? And I mean, deep down, everybody, you know who you are, you know what I'm saying? You know who you are, you know, if you, if you got a list of shit that you've been trying to do for six, seven months and your mind ain't right and stuff, you know, it's not on you. There's something up here. We you just got to recalibrate that and get past whatever you're going through to, you know, to get you back on track and stuff. But if it's something more than that, you definitely got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to seek out that, that support you need on that side as well, that side as well, definitely. But really for the most part, like I said, the Monday motivation is about uplifting and anybody that decided to follow me, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, you message me. I'll check your page out and stuff. If it's things, if it's things that align with what I do, I'll follow you back. You know, support. You know, everyone. You know, because that's what we do. Like, it's not when you do things with a with a with a clear heart and a clear conscience. Everything else that comes from it is pure. You don't have to worry about. <laughs> you don't have to worry about. You know followers and supporters and all of this stuff you know because if you're doing it from if it's coming from your soul that's what it's supposed to be you know like what is so hard with just doing good just because it's the right thing to do not because you want people to to see it and you want to video it and you want to get the followers up you want to get the likes up like just do it because it's the right thing to do you know it's always like, it's just, it's, 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 it's easier said than done. I, I know that it is easier said than done, but what is it going to take to, to get you in that mindset set to know that I can win? Like, like I can win. Like this shit ain't real. <laughs> it's not. You know, chopping up with one of my buddies, a YouTuber and stuff, and you know, and he told me like Reese. He's like, man, ain't none of this shit real. And I'm like, well, what you mean? He was like, man, like you see me go out and get these cars and all this stuff, man. He said, man, he was like, if I told you the numbers I was doing per week, 
it would be you wouldn't even believe me. He said it's none of this is it said it's not real. He said it's just he said you really got to just grind it out until you get to a point to where everything is on autopilot. And then you just you just you just making deals. If this is something that you choose to do, but you got to put the work in no matter what. If it's this, if it's if it's school, if it's a degree, if it's whatever you're striving for, you have to be willing to put the work in. You have to. You are too smart to be sitting there not doing the things that you're supposed to do, that you want to do. You're too smart. And you know this. So what you know in this, it's like, what are you going to do now? I can do these every Monday. And I'm going to do them every Monday. Definitely. But it's like every Monday I get up and watch Office Space. For me, that's like a kick in the ass. It's like I turn that on, I watch it bright and early, and I'm, I'm getting a glimpse of reality. Like this is what it is to be in the system. And if you've seen Office Space, that, I was Peter. I was that guy. I'm like, I never fit into this. I just didn't want to do any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I always knew I was not better, but I just, I just knew I was destined for something more, something, something bigger. You know. And you look, everybody ain't supposed to do everything. That's just what it is. You know. And that's fine. But Monday motivation is about letting you know that you can do the things that you really want to do. You can do that shit. Go back to the times when when you were at your worst and then you came out of that. And how did that feel? Tap into that. Tap into to those good days. Tap into those those times when you, you you know when you you were great. Tap into it. Get back. Let's get back to it. Because it's the world is completely different now. We are all set up to win. The 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 game has changed. It's changed. It's just not, it's not a really, a, it's not a, it's not a rat race anymore. You know, it's, it's honestly, a, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon. It's, it's, it's for the long haul. And it's what you put in it from the beginning is what's going to determine what you get out of it at the end. But if you're trying to skate by on this, I'm telling you, you're not going to get what you want. It's just not going to happen that way for you. I've sat around and I've dicked around for so long with all these different ideas and stuff and these different medians and trying to figure out, you know, what do I want to do for my next big thing? I've already been doing it. I've already, I've already been doing it. I've been being a husband, been a father, you know, been trying to bear myself mentally, trying to get myself, you know, back to where I need to be, you know, physically and stuff. It's just, I have a placard in my house and it says, you know, there were days that you wished for all the things that you have now and stuff and, or something like that. I don't know exactly what it says, but every time I see that, I smile, you know, and I realize that I'm standing on, you know, these floors in this house that I looked at for a year that up that went up and down in price fifty sixty thousand dollars multiple times and when it all came down to it I ended up with what I wanted not what I settled for I ended up with, with what I wanted but the grind to get it was was everything it was everything that that's that's what it's about it's about that feeling of accomplishment at the end of the day and that's that's for me that's what keeps me going knowing that you can set a big task in front of you and accomplish it it's just going to take time you just got to keep yourself motivated and keep moving day to day and try to stay positive because that's that's really all it's about is positive vibes if you keep the negativity and you keep the the background noise away from you you can strive. You can hit so many, so many different levels that you didn't even know you had. You didn't know you had. 
fear is the only thing that's holding you back from what you want to do. Everyone says money and stuff like that. No, it's, it's fear. Because people are afraid to fail. And I'm going to stop right there. And we, we'll get, and we'll jump into the, into the, into that on, a, on another one. But I'm motivated. I know you motivated. Let's be motivated together. You know, it's it's hard to to find people that you relate to. But if you're watching this and you relate to me, and you know people can use this, value it. You like what I'm doing. You watch some of the other videos. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. You know, you guys already know why I do this. You know, and um. I appreciate you for watching.